Hello, hi Dana, how are you? Let me fix my camera. I have my music all the way down on my headset. I feel very overwhelmed today, but that's okay. I'm excited to get this commission done because she's so freaking cute. Like I could actually die. <laughs> hi Patty, how are you today? My hair is a, a disaster today. I'm quite unhappy about it. This way, no this way. We'll get it. I'm okay. I'm just, I'm just vibing. My day started late again. It's been a bad habit of mine. <laughs> Ooh, whoops. Hi, Slapdash. <laughs> nice to see you guys here. Um, what do I want to start with today? I'm going to merge the background because we're happy with it. I usually start with the eyes. But I'm debating. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the reg. Also, um, Dana, is the eye color correct? Here you go. It'll obviously get like shaded and a bit darker. I will also lighten it up near the bottom, blah, blah, blah. But like the general, like the base color is good. Isn't she so cute? I'm so excited. I absolutely love her design. <laughs> Honey brown with flux of gold. Okay, okay, okay. I think I can do that. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing today? What's your plans for the week? <laughs> My brushes are getting a bit extensive. Mm -mm. Don't come cry to me, come cry to me, come cry to me. I will admit, I think my favorite thing about her so far, or about the background, I should say, I absolutely love these gold flecks here. I think they're so pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm distracting myself. Let me know. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm so glad you like it. I wanted to give her that sunny feel, but like very like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it. What's her class? Does she have a class? Is she for D&D &D itself? Here, I'll throw this up for you guys so you guys can see what's going on. Bard Fay Warlock. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She definitely gives me Bard vibes. I definitely get that. <laughs> Boops. Hope you are well, your art is awesome, and you are too. Hi, Broku, I hope you're doing well today. Nice to see you again, thank you. Boop to you, I hope you're having a lovely day. Level six cinnamon roll, I definitely get those vibes. Wolf of the Borderline, thank you so much for the follow, welcome. Doop, doop, doop. What's everybody's plans tonight? Tonight it is my um, Lost Minds of Fendelver campaign. Although we're almost on that part of the campaign, but we're going to continue until our backstories are completed. Um, and a really sad situation happened last session, and I feel so sad because it involved um, my character's sister and my sister, because we play twins and are twins in real life. Um, and my sister, this is her first time playing, and, like, she's she's cold-hearted, love her dearly, but, like, something really sad came out, and she's, like, lulls, and I'm, like, sitting there, like, crying. It's a hard knock life. Honestly, though, our characters, same vibes, so, you know. <laughs> I feel very bad for Finn. 
Go like so, and then an ad layer. Why does my phone say I'm playing TikTok? I am not. That is a lie. One moment. Oh wow, I have not exited things in a long while. All right. So first things first, question for you. Her pupils. Um, are they normal or are they, because I noticed in one of the drawings, her pupils are kind of like that, uh, what would you call it? Would you call it a rectangle? Not square. Yeah, rectangle type-ish shape. Um, are they like that or are they cir cir circular? Can't talk. It sounds super fun. Uh, my DM is actually my partner and he told me that um, he, w tonight's, episode is called your actions have consequences okay perfect i will do rectangular so i'm going to start with circular but don't fret i will fix them up afterward i'm i think i'm gonna change the pupil no i'll do them all afterwards so bear with me i'm gonna do them like normal and then i'm gonna kind of move them around a bit so they still get the texture that i want dun, 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 dun. hey Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Getting the little details like that that make a character a character are super important to me. A spicy frog. I'm trying to learn digital art and this is so cool to watch. Do you have any tips for a beginner? Um my best tips for a beginner is watch other artists. It completely helps for sure. Um I learned to draw by watching other artists' uh process videos. Um, and also don't give up, even though that seems like a really stupid advice, you will want to um, at some points. And just don't. Just keep going. And remember that the process is how everybody got there. Nobody instantly starts drawing like that. Nobody. <laughs> but I'm Rietro, I know, right? Aren't they so cute? I got so excited. I literally asked Dana if I could wait to work on, on her for stream because I thought she was so flippin' cute. <laughs> Okay. So I'm already on the right track. Exactly. You got it. Honestly, just enjoy the process. And on the rough days, take the break. Take it. It's okay to take it. What kind of a uh, program are you using right now, Spicy Frog? I play her on League of Ultimate Questing podcast. That is awesome. I have never listened to a DD and d podcast. I've only ever watched videos. I've tried a podcast before, but I kept like stopping it and then going to the video because I wanted to see their facial expressions. But I feel like at some point I should definitely try out some podcasts. Because even when I'm watching, because right now I'm trying to get through all of Critical Role, and then I'm going on to my next one, which I think I decided is Dimension 20, uh, though I'm debating on doing The World of I.O., I think it's called. Um, but I don't actually watch all the time because I'm drawing at the same time usually. And I usually just look up and I'm like, oh my god, what's the reaction right now? I Procreate in Clip Studio, but I'm starting on Procreate. Nice. Procreate can, whoa, I don't know why you're flickering. Calm down. Um, Procreate can be confusing at first um, because it seems so simple and it really is, but it takes some time to figure it out. So don't be discouraged. That's super okay and super normal. Um, if you haven't already, I'd recommend checking out Procreate, their actual like pages and stuff, because they have tons of, um, tons of, I can't talk, tutorials. <laughs> Uh, L-U-Q is a great place to start. The character work is great and they're very expressive. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have a huge list. I'm going to watch them all eventually because that's how I draw when I'm, when I'm, um, 
not streaming because I it's easy to like not always watch. I admit I have not used Clip Studio, but lots of uh, acquaintances and friends of mine use it. It seems to be great. <laughs> always behind. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to merge this. Wait, can I can I liquefy while it's no? I can't. Okay, we're gonna get small here. Here's what we're gonna try to do. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I used Clip Studio for a very long time before I changed to iPad and Procreate. Yes, I find a lot of people when they get the iPad, they do Clip Studio because um, because they're so used to it. Kind of kind of wonky, but like in that goat kind of way. I say goat because when I think of the square eyes, I think goat, but I know that other animals have it. I apologize. He is so cute. Do you think your pupils are too big? Do you think that looks okay, Dana? Mm -hmm. I love both a bunch, but Clip Studio has a brush I can't part with, so I moved from Procreate to Clip Studio. I used Procreate for like six years though, so it's good. I felt that way as well, because I used to use Paint Tool Sci. You like it, okay, cool. I used to use Paint Tool Sci mainly, and then um, when I switched over to my iPad, I was so frustrated because I could not find the brush I wanted. And then um, I found an artist who made a similar brush, and then I used that brush and tweaked it a bit, and now I'm in love, and that's my sketch brush. Um, but because I didn't make the base cost of the brush that's why I don't charge much for it I might be moving I think I'm gonna move my brushes and stuff from Gumroad to my Etsy just so it's all in one place the only thing is it doesn't have a pay as you wish option which kind of sucks um but nobody ever no one ever uses I got one tip once but like no one really uses it and that way it's all in one place and people can shop in one place which would be great I would love to open up a shop that's like actually a shop shop like like my own website but I can't do that just yet. I'm just not making enough sales, you know, eventually, because then it would make sense. But I don't know. Do you think it'd be weird to do my brushes and stuff <sighs> on Etsy? It would be nice if everything was in one place. I will say that. Yeah, okay, cool. I really only have the one brush that I've made. Everything else is my stamp brushes that aren't, like, usable by other people. They're, like, these brushes where I could drop my my Patreon stuff. Because um, I've purchased so many brushes. So I only have my sketch brush up. But brushes on Etsy sounds cool. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I will do Etsy. I know Etsy's not the greatest place either, but it's the best place for me right now. I've never bought brushes, but I have bought digital gaming assets in Etsy. Okay. Makes me feel a bit better. Thanks, guys. <coughs> Too high. do when I'm with you okay so I because she's got she's very warm and then she has the blue parts I'm gonna use the blue on her eye I might change it to yellow we'll see it's super subtle yeah I think yellow is kind of odd we'll go blue blue kind of ties it in all together and nobody notices that crap but me. <laughs> okay. A oh, vibration. Okay. Eyes are complete. Is the color okay? Everything looks good, Dana? 
Are the brushes compatible with other programs like Adobe? I do believe Procreate brushes and Photoshop brushes are interchangeable. I do believe. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I love water. It's so good. I trust you completely. That's like the nicest thing to say ever. Okay, we're gonna drop some color onto her skin. Get some shading, some ship. I'd rather be. I have a box under my desk that's hitting my leg. Oh, what a jerk. I need more storage space or I need to sell more product. One of the two. I think I'm going to start with storage space. I think Green and I are going to uh, take out the closet doors in here. We talked to our landlord to make some more space in here for storage. We were thinking a desk, but I don't know. We'll see. for the cheer love seeing our sweet penny come to life your art is lovely thank you so much also did i not know her name was penny because that is so it is penny i can see it in the png name now i'm stupid what a cute freaking name oh my gosh thank you so much i hope i can bring penny to life and you like how she turns out <laughs> That's my favorite part to get started on the face. I don't know why. I just this makes it look so pretty. Okay, so she's smiling, so I'm gonna give her a big line there. Cause her eyes are all squenched. Also guys, uh, if you like, I believe you guys are a tabletop RPG account. Is that correct, Slapdash? Because I'm, I'm following you. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I went and stalked you the other day. Um, I do believe. Let me double check. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Don't, is there another account called Slapdash? Am I crazy? Dun, 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 dun. You can tell me if I'm crazy. Because <laughs> you guys do tabletop RPG games, right? Twitch is mostly video games, but we premiere the podcast episodes weekly. Right, so the RPG is on the podcast, and then... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought I followed you. So Slapdash Law, are you like the moderator? If so, that's really dope that you named yourself that. <laughs> that's so awesome. Good for you guys. Yeah, if you guys are uh, my other followers, if you guys are into that stuff, please check them out because they seem really good and clearly they have great characters. Okay. <laughs> That's so sick. Nice. Well, it sounds like you have a really good thing going. It's so awesome. Yeah, you got him too. Mm hmm. 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 Mm One of these days, I hope Zach picks up the moniker of Slapdash Order. That would be amazing. Yes, that has to be done. That has to be done. <laughs> slapdash Law and Slapdash Order. Dun dun. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't think. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't think any moderators are here, but Abby is here. Hi, Abby. I hope you're having a good work day. I won't accidentally drop any spoilers this time. I feel like she'd have a super cute nose. Like, just the cutest. My actual name is Law? Is it? That's such a sick name. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just rattled sitting here. My name is Haley, um, but I go by Ricky online because my middle name is Richard because my parents are so loving. <laughs> oh my God, she's so cute already. I'm gonna die. That's a weird shape. Hold on. <laughs> Take it slow. Uh, uh, uh. I don't smile. I don't know you don't mind spoilers, but I like surprises. It's my favorite part about D&D. Here I am dropping all my spoilers. I will say that you're not a meta gamer, which I appreciate. Um, but still, I, I like surprises. She's so cute. I know things look a little wonky at this stage, but bear with me. It all comes together. I, I swear. Ouch. My thumb is suddenly having a sharp pain. That means it's time for coffee. Ah, delicious. Okay. So, hey. Oh, I messed the mess up. There we go. Add some shape to her lips. I always think Kim Possible when I'm doing lips because I do like to make the top lip mostly darker and then just do like a little, a little, a little some of that on the bottom. And I will blend that in at a later date. <laughs> and then we can't forget blush. We're also going to throw some of that on her shoulders. Me up, babe. Ooh, I have a shiver. Oh. Okay. So I want to try incorporating more colors into her skin than just the base colors, just to keep it more interesting. But I'm going to do the base shape of everything first. Oh. 
Oh my god, she's so cute. <laughs> I love when I get to, I can't say that word on, on Twitch, S-I-M-P over the characters I get to draw. <laughs> Do you think it counts if you spell it out? I don't want that to be too intense, so I am going to blend that out quite a bit, but I wanted it to kind of be there because she's bending her neck, you know? <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. I always try to keep things interesting, so... If you ever have questions, please feel free to ask. So right here, this extra piece right here doesn't totally make sense, but I'm going to be doing, I think, like super dark shading right here. Eee. Kind of, kind of dark shading. It'll all come together at the end. Okay. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. This is where I'm going to bring some other color. This is called color bouncing, and it's really good at making your art interesting. I'm no more close to being a digital artist, so watching the piece come together is fascinating. I'm glad you find it fascinating. And if you mean no more close, but does that mean that you still draw? <laughs> also, mistress, I just saw that you're sub to me. I don't know when that occurred, but thanks. Welcome. <laughs> Thinking of Now we're going to merge that and we're going to take pause from the skin and we're going to move on to the hair. Get that out of the way because it shouldn't take too long. It is shorter hair, but I do want to make sure it is nice and curly. So I'm just going to be kind of doing random little shadows. I used to draw more, but I focused more on literary art than visual the last few years. Also, that's a killer mug. Thank you. It's my favorite. Um, that's awesome. Do you write like D and D campaigns, or are you writing stories in general? Like, what's up? What do you do? I love my mug. It's very important to me. <laughs> so I'm kind of just gonna do random little shadow shapes. That I'm going to try and follow because I want the hair to look curly and like that fun curly you know not like like I did curlers and this is exactly it's all in the right place like fun curly <laughs> at least that's what my brain says Technically, the shadows would go further in the back, not the front. Race there. Do you guys like when I explain what I'm doing, or should I just be shushy? I can be shushy. Mm -hmm. I overshadow you. Ask me to. with me ah! <laughs> crow noise for when I mess up <gasps> Abby <laughs> you're my only mod here if you have a second can you write down can you write down a crow emote for me I'll, I'll forget I'll know what it means I 
I love the explanations. It reminds me of figure drawing class in college. I'm down. Okay, cool, cool. I'll keep going. Well, ultimately, I want to do the shadows because it'll just make it more interesting. It is darker hair, so the shadows can be a bit more fun. If I'm doing lighter hair, you have to be a lot more careful with your shadows um, because they'll be a lot more noticeable in the end. And you have to add more tones into shadows when it is lighter. Although using oversaturated colors for shadows can also be super fun. Uh, if you are a digital artist, I definitely recommend giving it a go. Mm. Hide away. Me and go. I'm just going to do a general shadow here. Here. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> I like the question marks. I'm thinking of doing a crow emote that goes, ah, and it can be like, oh no, you fucked up. I'm stupid, but I make that noise when I mess up. So it seems relevant. So, <laughs> I'm glad you think so. All right, almost done. And then we will go on to the shading of said hair. Oh my God, she's so cute. All right, bad, bad, bad idea. So my hope with the horns is to actually give them that little deer fuzz. Is that the hope, Dana, for you as well? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, cool. I'm glad we're on the same page then. Mm. So Dana, if you don't mind me asking, I know that you said that you work from home. What do you what do you do for work? Bad, bad, bad idea. I can bother you less too, because I know you're working from home. Oh, I have to remove that. It is not the last day to grab the calendar. The calendar no longer exists. Where are you? Mm, last day, no. We'll delete that bad boy. This is irreversible. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. A bad, bad, bad idea. I just realized something. Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. One second, dudes little breaky poo my day job is in marketing but i'm also a uh, tabletop rpg pg writer and actor that is so sick i love the world uh, well i mean the world kind of sucks but i love nerds nerds are just the best aren't they like truly hold on <laughs> Okay, there we go. Me too. If you ever play Pathfinder 2E, I write stuff for it. That is amazing. I have been told Pathfinder has a lot of rules, and I'm very picky. Um, if any of the Dork Tales cast are here, uh, Kelly in particular, he knows. I definitely prefer sticking to what I know because I get very anxious when I don't. But I heard that Pathfinder has 
a lot of rules in comparison to 5e, which is my preference. What, 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 do, you, what do you think of that? How would you ex explain that? Do you agree? So the best part about drawing, or the, the best tip for drawing hair, is thinking of your hair as, um, chunks. Some are thinner, some are thicker, but chunks in general, instead of drawing every strand. I feel the songs are just not high up enough today. <laughs> to me, it's not about more rules, but more that it's a has way more mechanics and crunch, lots more pluses and minuses. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like that's where my, I, sometimes I feel really dumb. <laughs> I feel like I'd get so lost. I would love to try it one day, but I definitely prefer to stick to my comfort zone of 5e. Um, and I'm obsessed with it. I would happily join more 5e campaigns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want there to be a good curl here. That's why there's this rounded bit. <laughs> um, chunky hair, that's a unique thought. It's a good thought. <laughs> I like both. PF does have a lot more rules, but it also lets you do different things with your character. It just depends what you like. I play both. That's a great curl. I'm glad you enjoyed the curl. And yes, I totally agree. I do think, though, that homebrew stuff can be super great um, with... 5e to make it more possible i've been thinking about i don't think i ever could but i've been thinking about dming and like cool stuff that i could do and like homebrew stuff how long have i been doing art um i started taking art seriously in 2017 um if you scroll all the way to the bottom of my instagram page you can see my growth I recommend that as well. It helps me. I used to do that with Siren and Loesch all the time to like motivate myself to keep going. Like, oh, like nobody starts off doing well, you know? Yeah. I would love to. I've been thinking about either doing like completely like, like a, my homebrew world or something. Um, but uh, Abby's going to judge me for this. <laughs> but I've been thinking about how cool it would be for certain people who like the Akatar books to base a campaign off of them and I think it'd be so fun green and I have been talking about it a lot Abby don't judge me I, I I know you wouldn't play that one though I would save that one for IRL um I don't know if I'd be a good DM though because like I really struggle with getting overwhelmed you know what I mean and I feel like as a DM like you are constantly overwhelmed and like I get grouchy <laughs> playlists <laughs> I think it'd be super cool I definitely like I used to like like every kid, especially ones that read, would always think up stories. And I'm like, oh, you could totally do it. Don't worry, Abby. I wouldn't do Akatar if I was doing it for you guys. But I also don't know if I have the guts to do it for you guys. Like, my IRL uh, game is like my twin sister and one of my best friends since we were kids. Um, and Green's best friend, you know? So I, I love all my D&D &D friends, but they're just so good at it. And I'd worry that I would suck. <laughs> No, I'm not standing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is a new song to the playlist. But yeah, my only issue with doing it based off the book series is that books are still coming out. And I feel like that would make it confusing. So instead, Abby, don't worry. I've been thinking more just my own world. Don't stress. I think you could do it. Everyone is really nice. So no one would judge you. I know. And I know everyone is super nice. And I love everyone so much. But I just, I am scared of looking like a big dumb. <laughs> But I don't know. I'm going to start thinking about it. I'm going to start thinking about it. Because I would love to do something homebrew. I also like, I'm the kind of person where like, I'd rather die than miss a D&D &D session. <laughs> but like, I know that most people don't think that way and they shouldn't. Um, but <laughs> I feel like I'd be a psychopath, basically. What's your world like? I have no idea just yet, but I do know that I do prefer, like, good old fantasy over it. But I definitely want to add in, like, my own shticks and stuff. It is a good idea to start among friends. Luckily, all of them, all of my D&D group and the group that I play in real life on Tuesdays are my really good friends. I'm just awkward and shy. Yeah, I definitely prefer, like, basic fantasy stuff over, like, sci-fi and all that stuff. So it would be, it would be that for sure. Dreaming about leaving. to erase something here. to sit up straighter because I keep messing up my back because I'm a ding dong all right once the hair is done we'll be back to regularly scheduled content some of my viewers I know you guys like hair so what's my character like bruh which one I have a uh, four ongoing at the moment. I'm in four campaigns. I'm in a Monday campaign, Tuesday campaign, and alternating Friday campaigns. Um, and I have a brand new character ready to go for Tuesday once Tuesday is finished. So which one? <laughs> My first character, Aelin, is um, a originally a warlock. I don't think any of our uh, Monday people are here, so I can say that she's also a shadow sorcerer now. Um, and she, we like to call her Horlock. I think that explains enough. Um, she is great. Although last session, so she, her patron is the Raven Queen. And when she was little, she left her orphanage, ran away and lived on the streets for a while. And this old, you know, crone was like, I'll give you power if you do work for me. And she's like, sure. Cause she's nine and stupid. Anyways. So she thought the Raven Queen was evil her whole life and hated her. So the beginning of the campaign, they literally had to write up a contract saying, stop being a bitch to her. <laughs> and now she calls her mom. And for the first time ever, Amran met a reaper 
Now, Amryn thought she was a Reaper, soon realized that she's not, because the Reaper, turns out, none of them like her, because she's the favorite and treated so differently. Um, and basically, he refused to talk to her, was really mean, and said, uh, try to talk to me again once you've actually reaped a soul, and then put a soul in my hand and left. Uh, so Amryn, having a rough time. Um, so... Yeah, she likes pets. She's got a pet rat named Atreyu, who we thought was magical. Turns out he only doesn't die because the Raven Queen has been keeping him alive. So Amran doesn't have a mental breakdown. Um, yeah. Uh, she's got Alan, her raven, and she had a stoat named Albus, but I'm pretty sure he's basically dead now. Um, and then a horse named Astrid, who she was only with for three days and has to leave in Everland. And then she also had a cat turns out he's an elf trapped in a cat form elf vampire sort of deal um <laughs> and then i have who do i have next i have aelin who abby counterfeit is a part of that campaign she's part of pirates of oros campaign it's a homebrew world by my beautiful dm and her world is amazing i can't share too much about her but what i can say is what abby knows and that is aelin um is looking for someone and she is super loyal to the ships that she's working on. Um, she works as a first mate and she has lots of practice in it. And uh, what else about Aelin? She cries while drinking and talking to rats, thinking about who she's looking for and everybody on the ship thinks that she's dating her cat, Ames. <laughs> like the kids goldfish who live for 10 years thanks to parental intervention. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what Atreyu is. Um, and then I have Alice, who is a wild magic sorcerer. She is currently... Abby's also in this campaign. So she is currently seeking the ability to make a simulacrum because um, her mother and sister... A situation she's trying to deal with that um, and she's up in the Icewind Dale she is a good character and does not realize that most of the characters that she is in a party with are partially evil uh, <laughs> Leia Adriana thank you so much for the follow welcome um, what else about their about Alice oh she used her tides of chaos a lot there is a reason for that but I will not share it at this time and then, um, <laughs> oh, and she's obsessed with bread, like enough that all of her companions, especially her, she hopes to be friend, um, Nadia, <laughs> thinks that she's going to get scurvy if she keeps eating loaves of bread. So, um, yeah, that's Alice. She's super cute. Um, I have pictures of them if you want to see. And then I have, um, that's three. So then I have Finrail. And Finrail is my Tuesday campaign character. That is the one I'm playing tonight. She thought she was human. Turns out she's an Asimar. Um, I knew that, obviously. <laughs> but um, she did not know that. Um, so basically, her story is that um, her and her twin sister were born to human parents, Liz and Stu Parker. And Kai was born first, and she was a beautiful baby. And then when Finn came... Um, the doula noticed that she was stillborn. And... The parents held her and prayed to Lathander to give her life while the doula held on to Kai. Lathander heard them and gave Finriel life, thus turning her into an Asimar. Now, Zariel, who doesn't like Lathander, didn't like the unevenness of this and decided to curse Kai and changed her into a tiefling. And the doula, Catherine, noted this. And of course, human parents, human village tried to kill Kai because of it. So Finn's whole life, she has been the beautiful golden child of Golden Field. She was treated so well. She helped out everyone around the town. She started a neighborhood watch. She basically just like the perfect kid, but they all treated Kai like a devil and absolutely horrible. And Finn feels that she's at fault for this. So the only goal I ever gave Finn when I wrote her was to protect Kai at all costs. Um, so one day Kai decides she's training to be a monk, or at least training what she can on her own, um, to leave Goldenfield without 
anyone without saying goodbye to their parents. Um, and Finriel, of course, nope, no way. So she traveled to Neverwinter to find her after saying a very loving goodbye to her parents and found Kai. And things have progressed. Let me make sure that <laughs> my sister is not here. It's Cucumber. It's not here. So she has done a few things. Mind you, remember, this is a really good person. Finriel is a good, good person. Um, like she drinks milk and honey. That's her favorite drink. Okay. And she has now joined um, a crime syndicate. As many of you probably know, it is called um, the Abby, help me out. What are they called? It's in my, it's in my notes. Abby knows the name of them. Uh, I'll remember. She's joined a crime syndicate. Find the name in a second. Um, and she has also made a deal with what she thought was a druid, who was in fact a hag, um, to make herself powerful enough to protect Kai and to also possibly get help. Because Kai made a deal with Zariel that the moment she dies, no resurrection spell allowed. Centaurum, thank you. No res resurrection spell allowed. She goes to hell and fights in their war. And Finn doesn't want her to go where she can't follow and protect her. Um... So I feel really bad for Finn. She keeps doing all these things to protect her sister and her sister gives no shits. Um, only recently did Kai realize that Finn was missing something. She was missing a memory after she's gotten these powers from the druid. Turns out the only thing that she could give away that was strong enough to be able to protect Kai and possibly help against this deal was the memory of Liz and Stu. It's really sad. I love this story very much, but I feel so bad for Finn that I only gave her one freaking goal to protect her very heartless sister. <laughs> so that's who I'm playing tonight. Uh, Kai has just realized that Finn gave away that memory and well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so that's Finn. She has golden eyes and red hair and tanner skin and lots of freckles. And I love her very much. Sorry, that's, yeah, Finreal. Finreal Parker. I just love that she has a very, like, angelic name, but then her last name is so human. Yeah, 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 yeah. I also have another character, but I haven't played her yet. But I love her very much. <laughs> I posted about her on Patreon. Oh, I should, yeah. I should have also said Aelin, the the pirate, she is a uh, half-sea elf druid, Circle of the Moon, and Alice is a wild magic sorcerer tiefling, and I, Amran was a half-elf, but I said that she was a sorlock, and then Finn is an Asmar sorlock. Accidentally got two sorlocks. <laughs> Whoops. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that was a long spiel. You asked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is art your full-time job? That's the dream for me someday. It is my full-time job. I got to quit my job last September. Um, I'm very lucky. Um, and thanks to Patreon, that's the only reason I was able to do it. Uh, I was in a very, very bad workplace, so I hope, I hope that it works out for you. Just remember to keep going. <laughs> Those are all really cool characters. I'm glad you think so. I will say, you guys... Okay, regular D&D &D players are going to hate what I'm about to tell you, but keep in mind that Amran, the first Sorlock, was my first character, okay? I didn't know how D&D &D worked, okay? <laughs> I kind of hindered her, not really knowing that I was really hindering her. Um, but I actually now still think it's really cool and fun. So Amran, a warlock, I believe is a half-caster. Am I correct? Uh, well... I decided with her backstory that the reason she left the orphanage was because they trained them to use weapons. Um, and Amran was just 
really shitty at weapons and dropped a dagger into her foot. So that's why she ran away. And so I decided that if Amarin ever uses any sort of weapon, ever, she has to use disadvantage. And I approve this with my DM. Not knowing... She's a cantrip queen. Love her dearly. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Me to heaven I've never been. It's actually kind of fun to play it though. It makes your character themselves have to be, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I like it. I like hindering your character a little bit, you know? You got Eldritch Blast. You fine. I know. I know. I also have like a gazillion um, cantrips. Yeah. It is pretty hilarious considering a lot of people like with Warlocks, like you're also a huge weapon user. I did not know that. I thought they were just magic. <laughs> Yeah, Eldritch Blast is such a good spell. It was so exciting to use it on Finrail the first time. And of course, my sister and our friend that we're playing with, both of them are new to D&D. So they did not pick up the fact that when I said <clears throat> Eldritch Blast, that was not something that should be happening to a sorcerer. Um, so <laughs> some of the excitement got a little dwindled, but it's still cool. To heaven I've never been. Okay, so now it is for the added details in the hair. So I'm gonna merge that, make another layer, and use my hairbrush. And start adding the good good. Oh my gosh, yes. Do you do much fan art of your favorite moments in games? During your descriptions, I couldn't stop thinking of movie references, like when Skull Scott Pilgrim lands bread makes you fat. I should. I've really thought about it because I want to start practicing, uh, one, my cartoon style more, and two, um, like, uh, interaction stuff. So I should. I really should. Um, be so good. There's so many good moments. Like, last session, the one with Finn and Kai when they learned when Kai learned that she gave away that memory, um, Finn didn't want to talk about it anymore. She was getting frustrated because she doesn't remember anything. So she's laying down in her, you know, her sleeping bag and she turns to Kai and she asks, what were they like? And then she talks about how her parents were goat farmers in Golden Field and they were loving and stuff. And Finn's just like, I remember Golden Field and then turned around. And I don't know, it was just really... Guys, I fucking love D&D. &D. It's so good. Like, honestly, the people that are like, oh my god, I would never try that. It's so lame. Fine. Have a boring life. Be boring. That's fine. 
my mom's like that. She refuses to do anything, anything. She says that her life is fine the way it is. Yo, back from the sauna. <laughs> Sup, Monlin? How you doing? How was the sauna? You living that good life. Okay, light's going to be coming from that side. I am painting the lovely Penny, who's owned by Mr. Stana RPG. And from their podcast, I believe. Penny is right from the podcast. Is that correct? Actually, I'm going to do these underneath instead of also I kind of called out a player on discord because I'm a bad person and don't like just talking shit without saying anything I don't know what you mean but I'm gonna stop you right there we're gonna stay positive today but I'm happy that you stood up for yourself you're a pro I hope that you were still able to enjoy your game was your game fun at least Oh, I got a fix right here. I feel like her, her eyebrows are going to have to be darker here. Yep, season two of the League of Ultimate Questing. We're forty-two episodes in. Is that your is that your like group name? The League of Ultimate Questing? I think I only have one group name. I think we decided on the God Syndicate. They wanted to go with God Squad, but I just I I I couldn't. I couldn't. It's so I don't know, not serious. <laughs> Maybe I'm a dick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to try to now just stay positive since I managed to get that bother off my chest. That's so good, though. Honestly, it's so important. Like, if they, something is bothering you, just say something. Do your best to do it respectfully and then just be positive. Because that's the best way to get through something, you know? I think I'm, I'm done the hair. Yeah. Let me know if the hair is okay. Duh. We are one hour and 12 minutes into stream. We're going to go until we finish this young lady. I think I'm going to do the horns next. The theme of the show is that questing is a major league sport that fans watch with commentator play-by-play -play and fake comedy ads for fantasy products. That's the name league. That is amazing. And it's a podcast? So it's only words. You don't actually have. Oh my gosh. I would watch the crap out of that. I have much longer than expected on commute. So now I just got to chill till bedtime. Oh man. Chillaxin is always good. We're going to do the horns next. I'm going to add a bit of color. I'm going to use my Oberon brush. Oh my gosh. Such a good concept. That's so awesome. Okay, so I'm going to start with rounding them. And then we'll worry about the texture. When you think take the faster way home so you can chat to colleagues, <laughs> just go to sleep on the other bus. What? It's insanely creative and they execute it extremely well. I bet that would be amazing. Oh my gosh. Dana, you should send me a link. So do you guys do them live then or do you do them uh, pre-recorded? I must have forgot the word. Mm-hmm. 
Slash-studios.com. Welcome to Slash Dash Studios, home to the League of Ultimate Questing. Oh my gosh. Episode list. How many episodes are there? What if dungeon crawling was a sport? Dude, this is so sick. Okay, I don't know how podcasts work. Are you by chance on Spotify? <laughs> Are you guys on Spotify, actually? Because I have listened to podcasts on Spotify. You are on Spotify. One moment. I'm looking for it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay, so follow. Oh, I'm not logged in. Okay, I'll keep this open so I don't lose it. How many episodes are there? 49 episodes. Okay. Oh, nope. That was a pause in the scrolling. Oh, God. So many. But they're all shorter. They're shorter than the four hours that I'm used to, right? One hour and 20 minutes. So they're about an hour to 20 minutes, looks like, is the the longest. And there is different sections. Oh, my gosh. Everywhere pad- podcasts are. I love that. What did I miss? What did I miss? Huh? Basically, my bus bumped into another one. What? That's scary. Are you Okay. What am I missing? Hold on. Hold on. (sighs) We record four episodes at a time. Each is an hour long. One's edited. That's awesome. They're pre-recorded. No one got hurt. That's good. 160 or so. If you want a good sample of their stuff, check out the live show they did. I like to start from the beginning. I'm a psychopath. (laughs) Okay, cool. I'm going to add this to my Spotify list. I have so many different D&D stuff to watch. Again, you guys are Pathfinder, not D&D 5e, correct? Oh, no! It would. It would. Okay, 42 episodes in season two. Is season two done? I wish I was younger. Okay. No, we're just getting started. That's so cool. Did I miss the message? I think I asked, is the yep towards the 5e or Pathfinder? Dun dun. Okay, I'm going to try something. Let's see. What is going to be the best option? I'm just testing something. Bear with me. No, not hairy enough for me. I want straight little hairs. Probably that. Okay, I'm going to go like this to start. But I'm going to erase. I'm going to erase it. Don't worry. Oh, they are 5D. Okay. Yes. I agree. That sounds super cool. Okay, we're testing. We're testing. This is testing. Okay, so let's try this. We're going to do an aggressive eraser brush. Might be a little too thick. Hmm. Let's try something. 
because we're going to be highlighting the one side. So what if I use the hairbrush then to erase some of it? Yeah, it's not strong enough. What about this brush? <laughs> this is a confirmation of some of our older comedy ads from season one. I think they think like the funny commercials in SNL. I will have to watch that. Are they in the, the shows though? Because I kind of want to surprise myself. So I might not watch it now. Like sexy lemonade, you guys. Because these are the same shape. What are the chances? I'm hoping once I... They're in the mid rolls. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Come for the commercial, stay for the podcast. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's. Oh no. Why did the other one disappear? I must have not noticed that I didn't copy and paste. Big sad, big sad. That's okay. We didn't remove anything, we just added, so. Hey. I'll just use the wrap tool, it'll be easier. Or the liquify tool. Mm hmm. Okay, and then I will Okay, so let's try something. Okay? I'm going to try. I'm gonna make one without just in case I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I want blue. The clue, though it comes off like I do, I'm being on. I say honest, but it's 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 honest. That's why. Gotcha. <laughs> Talking to myself. It's a bit much. I don't hate it though. Let's try adding shadows and see how it turns out. Also, I think there's a bit too much going on on this side. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try something as well. Though it comes off like I do. I might have to darken them in general, I think. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna start with that. Not that dark though. That's much better. Okay, so then I'm gonna use the screen tool and I just wanna add a bit more shape to them.
looks a little crazy. Bear with me. Yeah, just so they're not plain. Maybe we'll even go like this. And that's clearly too dark. There, now they're a bit liney. <laughs> so now I want to add shadows to certain areas. Me not feeling like sketching, so just browsing art books and Pinterest. Whenever I browse Pinterest, I get inspired, so I hope that that works for you. Don't have energy for reading, so art books it is. Oh my gosh. See, when I don't have energy, I prefer to read. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy. I read so much for work. Oh, that's fair. If that's what you do, like, literally all the time. Last night, Green and I finished our book series. The next book doesn't come out for a while, so we're going to be starting a new one. I am much excited. Mm I want a bit of a darker shadow right at the bottom of this one. That's better. All right, onto the ears. So, we're going to start with this. And that. Wow, Biotic Fox. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Okay, so this is the top half of the ear per se, and that is the bottom. So let's do let's do the inside fluff first. So we're gonna do this dark beige to start. And then we are going to go lighter. Actually, I kind of want to add a bit of a pink. We'll grab from the pink on the face, so it's a bit more orange than pink in the ear, just a little bit, um, because deers have that. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Grab that, lighten it, grab a hairbrush. I want to do some thicker ones and some less 
plastic ones. Ignore the stuff on the face. We will get rid of that later. I'm also going to use this one. So this part here has to be start off darker. So then as I add lighter colors to it, it looks better. Fluffy. I just want to give that a softer shape. Okay. I'm going to merge that and then I'm going to add a bit of a shadow. As it gets closer to the head, I don't want to use blue. So now we do the top of the ear, which is softer. It's not super fluffy, technically. I'm going to change the shape a bit. And they have a bit of a white rim too, so I'm going to make sure to add that. Okay. I'm going to use my noise brush for that so it looks a bit more natural. Oh my god, she's so cute. I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Okay, so first things first. I'm gonna add some texture. I should have done the white rims afterwards, but... Oh well... I'll deal with that later. Not all too much has to go into this. The top of the year, I mean. usually recommend using black for a shadow but I kind of want it to just meld a 
Okay. Um, Dana, let me know if you see any issues thus far. Oh, won't you? Dana, I'm just going to send you an update, uh, which is why I'm going to go to this screen. Hello. <sighs> okay. And everyone's quiet, but always feel free to talk. I'm totally cool with a chatty stream. Uh, only cuteness. Wonderful. I am going to send you an actual update just in case it's a bit easier for, to take a, for you to take a look. Wow. Talking too fast. Let me just send this to you on Discord. Now, ignore the skin. Please know this is not where it's staying. Um, I always do this. I, like, kind of do the skin. Unable to share. A network error. Excuse me. I have Wi-Fi. You're a liar. Oh, it's because I'm sending it as a PNG. It's too big of a file. Uno memento. JPEG. Stupid. Stupid, Ricky. Okay. Posting now. Um. What was I saying? I always do the skin kind of first because then you can kind of see where it's going. Um, but I do skin ultimately usually last because it's my favorite part to do. It's like how I eat my food. Four, four. Is that like really close to your time right now? Are they okay? I'm so glad you guys like her. I'm excited. <laughs> Hi, Hazel Ray. Welcome back to the stream. How are you? Thanks, guys. I don't do short hair very often, so that means a lot. Um, I'm always worried that I won't do it well enough. Is her hair the right shade? Is anything funky? I want her to look exactly as you picture her because she's not my character. So be honest. It's us again with my dates. It means 4th of April. Oh, yeah. I'm a dunce. Oh, yay. Okay. Okay. I'm happy. All right, guys. I am going to take a quick break. I'm going to grab something hot to drink for my poor throat. And then um, we will be back and we will be finishing her today because I will do that or die trying. Be right back. Remember to get some water and all the good good.
I am here. Do not stress. I stress though because I spilled coffee trying to get back here. Let me see. It looks absolutely perfect. This is very, very close to my original word description, which I love. The shading on her antlers looks great too. I really can't wait to see skin finish with freckles. I'm so excited. Also, in regards to the freckles, does she have brown freckles and white freckles? Or only the white? Like what's, can you explain that one for me? My hair is a gong show. There. It's all right. It's okay. It'll do. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Ready? All right, all right, all right. My headset is definitely on backwards. I'm such a pro. I'm a pro streamer, you guys. Stick around. How do girls do this? How do girls be girly? I'll figure it out. And be fluffy while doing it. Just white freckles, like smaller version of the dappling on her fur. Okay, you got it. I know that some of the, like your references have, let me see. Cause they're still chunkier than regular freckles, right? Feel like I'm dead. You can definitely ask that. So Procreate has a feature. If you go to Canvas and then Reference and then turn that on. I had it off there. Or I had it on already. So it gives you the option. You can do Canvas, which is this. So it updates as you draw, which is great for when you're streaming or if you're somebody who's like always zoomed in and you want to see how it's looking. Um, and then you have Image where you can do an image. And then you have Face, which I'm not going to turn on because then you can paint on your face. <laughs> Okay, we'll try a few things. They, they they don't get drawn directly on the skin. Like, I don't merge until we're sure. So, don't stress. Yeah, I had to rush because my coffee. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while to brew because it's like a single serve. Um, it was slow. <laughs> okay, so now... Yeah, let's just do the skin last. Hi! You going to hang out with me? No. Are you going to mod with Abby? Sure. 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 Green is here for everyone who knows him. I'm going to pop off an ear. What are you doing? Turning on my headset? Oh. I heard something. What? Uh, What'd you hear? I don't know. Something. Okay, this part is in, let's use a more, a more aggressive brush, shall we? I also have to prepare to, um... For D&D tonight? Yeah, and you guys. You're gonna murder us? I don't like that you did not respond. <laughs> Please help, sir. Do you remember what I was calling this one? Your actions have consequences. Yes, I've already told the chat <laughs> don't think I don't pay attention to you when you're telling me you're gonna murder us did, did, you don't even know what your what actions have consequences yeah I do what? for killing the dragon people you think that's what it is yeah I think that's what it is okay is there more mm -hmm. what else do we do stayed in a in a tower that we probably shouldn't have stayed in maybe uh -huh. Oh boy, we're all gonna die. It's gonna happen. Oh gosh, why homebrew? What are you doing? I don't like this. It's too aggressive. Too much heat. 
you're just excited to kill us because you know that some of us are excited for the next campaign. So now you're just like, screw it. If you die, you die. No, this is actually... No TPKing us for funsies. Why not? <laughs> Please, sir. I ask you desperately. Oh god. Hearing you plan for D&D is the scariest thing. Why did you look this way? Oh no. Do you hear this guy? Just full of threats. Hey. Aurora. This character belongs to Dana, Mistress Dana RPG, who's in the chat, and she's so cute. Her name is Penny. <laughs> Somebody. Somebody. TPK'd my group this past Saturday on accident. I rolled very well and they very poorly. It was our third, third session. Oh my God. Oh, we almost TPK'd uh, last session. No, Not a couple session sessions before. ago. Um, I think it was two sessions ago. Our uh, NPC party member, uh, Tarkin, died. Um, it was very sad. <laughs> Once again, Kai, for those of you who remember the story, um, kind of cold hearted, uh, instantly tried to loot his body and Finn was not having it. Man. And I'm most definitely using that line on her tonight. What? The one that Kayla said I, she knew I was going to use once we heard it together. Wow. That Sam and, uh, was it Sam and Frodo? Mm -hmm. Don't go where I can't follow. <laughs> I love D&D. <laughs> so good. It's actually so emotional playing a twin sister with your twin sister, though. I will say, even though Kay is very cold hearted these days, she didn't used to be. So hopefully maybe I can crack her with some good RP, uh, some good RP. Mm -hmm. I nearly died in my last session. Totally chill. I've had one character death, but it was pre-discussed with my DM and I knew that it was going to happen. And my rest, the rest of the players didn't know because, um, I'll explain in a second. I was also thinking of Sam and Frodo when you were describing them. Babies. Um, what was I going to say? What was I talking about? What was I talking about? I missed character it. Death. Character death. Oh, right. So Amran died, and this is how she became a, sh a shadow sorcerer. Um, none of those players ever watched my stream. So, Hi. except for you, but you knew, because you're literally in the same room when it happens. Um, so, room where it happened, room Sorry. where it happened. It's going to be stuck in my head all day now. Thank you for that. Um, 
What was I going to say? Oh my gosh, you keep distracting me. Oh, so we were in a fight and it was really dramatic and sad because our monk, who is, he's a wonderful D&D &D player because he's so good at playing stupid. It's so funny. So freaking funny. Um, but he was forced to attack and almost kill Amran. And it was so emotional. Like, it's the first time I think that we've had a session where, like, people started to tear up. It was so good. And then... Um, they thought that they had beat them, not beat them, but they thought that Amron wasn't going to die. And then the big bad walked up to her, kissed her. This is a woman named Lilith. Evil, obviously, named Lilith. Duh. Um, and Amron just insta-death. Nothing else. And it's so funny because, like, I knew why that was happening, so I wasn't shocked. But everyone else was like, oh, man, so good. So good. I love D&D, man. Just the best. <laughs> Okay, so here's our first section. I'm so tired. We'll go to bed soon. You should get a good sleep. You sound super pooped. You had a big travel, you said? Big, a big bus t time? <gasps> Ellie! Yes, we're talking about you, BB. Talking about your wonderful storytelling and um, how shooketh the party was when Amber died. <laughs> and me and you were like, so good, so good. Yes. We we're talking about how um, the Reaper was really mean to Amarin last session. Also, guys, everyone say hi to Ellie. She is one of my best friends in the whole wide world, and she is a mod, so be nice to her. And she's also my DM in two of my campaigns. Ellie, have you ever played Lost Minds of Fandelver? Oh, no. Don't. Brayden is also one of Ellie's best friends. If so, message me. Oh, no. Why? is never good my first session last week with my artifi art artificer or artificer artificer i don't know people say artificer that. five rounds of combat didn't land two fairy fires rough and then missed three fire bolts didn't accomplish anything in the fight oh, oh no that happens that happens <laughs> yeah you would say that hey my fairy fire saved our ass from a baby i think a baby green dragon uh last session i'm just saying thank goodness finn became a warlock because without that fairy fire we would have been screwed i was just scared because most of my other party members are squishy and i ba baited lots of enemies to come to me so i could take hits that's good that's good very tanky very good <laughs> uh ellie this character's name is penny and belongs to mr Sana rpg isn't she the cutest shit in the world i just know you and ellie are talking now i won't look at the conversation it's okay it's on the screen now please be nice okay Okay. Suffice to say, I put myself in that position, but I was glad to get support when I did. Oh man, imagine, I could imagine that it was tough though if all the other players are super squishy. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, on Sunday, the melee hitters hard protected my ranged attacker, Ranger, in a mass of enemies. Appreciate it a lot. I love when everybody works together as a team. It's honestly so beautiful. Fairy Fire is amazing. I agree. Totally worth it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fairy Fire is my number one favorite spell. My best time using it was on a party member cleric who was in a pit fight against another party member, Rogue. Rogue couldn't sneak attack, so my f cleric cast Fairy Fire on the, cl on the cleric so the rogue could do that, and so she'd win a bet. Amazing. You think she looks cute? Just wait until you hear her on the show. Oh my god. Eventually, eventually I'll have to watch it. I told my Discord that I would let them know when I needed more shows to watch. So when that occurs, keep an eye out if anyone happens to be on the Discord. I'm sure I'll mention it like during streams and stuff too. If anyone 
continues to show, but yeah. Because my, my goal was to do crit roll and then dimension 20, but I might wait on dimension 20 because one of my regulars really wants me to watch World of IO and it, it sounds super cool. Uh, it's good stuff, a great utility spell. I really love Inflict Wounds because it just does so much damage when it hits. Um, love that spell. But what? But you have to get close. You're a sorcerer. I'm aware of the situation, okay? <laughs> Who likes to walk up to the front? I'm aware of the situation. And I stopped walking up to the front. I only use it if I feel that I could actually achieve it. <laughs> Yee! I just love Brennan Lee Mulligan. 1010. S-I-M-P for that guy. I've watched um, part of the... Which one is it? We watched the first um, Magic and Misfits. We yeah, but that was that was a Bria. Yeah. That wasn't. I mean, Brennan. Brennan, Brennan was, was in it. it, and he was fantastic. He's so good. Um, we watched Fantasy High. Yes, that's the one. We didn't finish Fantasy High, did we? No, we haven't. Yeah. I think we're only like halfway through it. Yeah. We'll go back eventually. <laughs> His DMing is so good. It's very, very energetic. Fantasy high. Thanks. Thanks, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Okay. Oh, I didn't <laughs> I didn't merge this part. So I don't know what the texture is on this blue cuff. Do you have a preference or am I good to do something with it? Perse Persephiroth in that one? Persephire? I don't know. I'm get. I'm, uh, I d yeah, I don't think we finished Fantasy High. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, I'm getting my partner caught up on campaign one of CR. We watched live and we do have to get him to watch the first half of C2, but then I think I'm gonna make him watch High Rollers with me. Campaign two is my favorite campaign ever. It's the only one that I finished, to be fair, but there's something about that party that I just absolutely love. They make my heart warm. I don't know, I don't know how else to describe it. Anything I want, okay, cool. I'm gonna give it like a cool texture, a fabric-y kind of sort of texture. <laughs> what, Nothing. are you talking about murdering us? That's enough of that over there, you two conspirators. Is that the word? Did I just dumb myself? Probably. Cons conspir- Abby, you're smart. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, you're also smart. I trust you guys. But she's also conspiring. Okay. Yeah. Conspiring. Yeah. Not Ellie. No, I trust Ellie. She would, she would tell me the right word. She wouldn't make me look stupid. She loves me. She just wants to murder my characters. No, she doesn't actually. What? You have to stop giggling. It's stressing me out. We're, we're not really talking about, like, hurting you guys anymore. We're just talking, like, flavor right now. And uh, it's hilarious. Good lord. Well, uh, oh, well, uh, oh, I'll take care of you. She played in the seven. Ooh. Conspirators. Thank you, Abby. I appreciate you. Love you, Ellie. Ellie, how was work today? Are you happy to be home? Where's the texture I want? Oh, it's not in here. It's here. <laughs> Told you that I loved you. Away from me, away from me. You would be mine. I'm glad you're home then. Are you excited for the uh, your guys' session tonight? Oh yeah. Yeah, I know they play on Tuesdays. Just 
take care of you. Yeah, Aiden and I are gonna burn some shoes. Yeah, what? I was confused on that conversation. What's the deal with shoes? Why so hate? Why so hateful towards shoes? Okay, so. want to do some color bouncing so do I want to do color dodge maybe I'm gonna take the gold okay that's not gonna be where it's at but uh, that's kind of cool let's go with that it's kind of cool it's kind of cool I like it oh, I'm glad you like the texture one of the other players called our characters homeless for not wearing shoes, so now we will burn his. I'm all for this. That is amazing. Um, please share that story uh, next time we talk, because I would like to hear how you burned his shoes. Okay. Now I'm going to add this guy. Not so intense though, and then I shall merge. Okay, so now we're on the last part of the outfit. Other than the gold, of course. Why do you need shoes? Do you have sensitive feet? Are you a pussy? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what you should do, Ellie. Okay, so where are the shadows? I think it's just here. Right? Or at least the, that kind of shadow. I just gotta say that I'm obsessed with the fact that my Storm King's Thunder Party is currently traveling by airship. My ranger who can't fly being on an airship with her beast of the sky is just so great. Oh, that would be lovely. Much good RP moments. Oh, I love that. <laughs> One day, Ellie, we'll get to play another campaign together. One day. Hopefully where our characters aren't in a love-dislike relationship with each other. Ricky, what do you eat for dinner? Pick my dinner too, tired to cook. Um, have, um, do you guys have mangoes there? Or like something equivalent? Because have that. Because it's really good. And I want that and I can't eat it. So you should have that. Oh, you just reminded me to text Kay. What is for dinner? Are we doing dinner together? I forgot to plan this week. Whoops. Mongos. Uh, babe, stir fry? Mongolian stir fry. Mongolian stir fry. She'd just be like, I can finally join you in the sky. Oh, that would be cute. Mm -hmm. Cook me dinner and I'll do next week? Let's see. She might have only pulled out enough for her. I don't know. We usually have dinner together on Tuesdays, but I cannot. Yeah. She only pulled out enough for her. Too late. Big sad. Smoke and mirrors. Okay. I am very sorry. Ellie, are you telling him to kill us? <laughs> no, she's just helping me with things I'm asking. Ellie, are you helping him kill us? I'm very excited my ranger companion is reaching a stage where he'll get an aging bonus. What does that mean? 
What's an aging bonus? Mm -hmm. Animal fans? Me too. Oh. Kayla forgot that I'm streaming. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. Oh, I forgot to say that Finreal does have an animal friend. His name is Solme, and he is a gray squirrel. A very large gray squirrel. Like, not abnormally large, just like a large gray squirrel. I got him as an egg, so he's still baby. He'll be reaching adulthood soon, so his attack and damage. Oh, that's so sick. I think I actually do want to play a ranger at some point. I was thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> TikTok is overrun. Your brain, I know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Smoke. Sweet bean. Soulmate is a good guy, except for he just shared all of my- I just- I need to make a character that has a pet that doesn't hurt her. Because <laughs> Soulmate just gave up a bunch of info to this guy without, like, checking with his mom. Like, what? First person to ever speak with this squirrel. Because she can't speak to animals! That's not her fault! It seems like an issue. She is a warlock now. She can get that spell. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? You're gonna kill her first? Is that what you're implying? Oh god, he gave me a face. Alright, guys. Oh, uh, do you know what was one of the most satisfying things last time? What? Rolling 12d6. Oh, for smush damage? No, for the breath Oh, the breath. breath. Oh my gosh. Yes, we are aware that it is called bludgeoning damage. Uh, the DM calls it that, but the party does not. It is called smush damage because Kai went underneath the dragon to fight him there for some reason and then they killed the dragon and then they killed the dragon was underneath and uh smush damage i love rangers they're good support to have and do lots of damage when needed i just want to have an animal beast friend that actually loves me other than atreyu does love me ellie plays a really good atreyu he calls her mommy it's so cute mommy sorry, mommy, sorry. yeah same vibes no atreyu loves her they've been together since she was like eight or something I have to get the official ages down at some point. Hmm. Favorite part about Rangers is getting Sharpshooter. It just makes you do so much more damage. Mm What are you laughing at? Smush damage is that. accurate as fuck. Right? The DM kept being like... Bludgeoning? Bludgeoning. We're like, no, sir. It is smush damage. Also, to be clear, he's the DM. If no one has caught on to that. You want to say hi? Hi. This no. guy is going to say hi. <laughs> hi. That guy's going to kill us tonight for sure. Oh. For sure. It's going to happen. You can think of it that way. My count. Or you can think yeah. of it. He's gonna murder us. It's going to happen. As you guys doing it to yourself. We're doing it to ourselves? What does that mean? Two sword weapons attack or also whack whack. Perfect. Uh Finn has a glass staff. <laughs> Kill them. I assume you meant them. I never want it to happen, but my DM and I Kill already me. have a scene prepped in case my companion is killed in combat. Oh. I'm playing my first ranger in one of my current campaigns. Oh, tell us about them. That's so exciting. That's what you guys have just gotten a ranger in your... Is he a ranger? Yes. I should have figured that. Yes, you should have. I am still new, okay? Only you know this, though. He's a ranger. Okay. Finn doesn't know that, though. No. He uses a bow and arrow. <laughs> he uses a bow and arrow and can cast magic. Yeah, that's that's what she knows. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You can think of it as killing your characters. I prefer to think of it as plot development. That's it's you're not wrong. Um, the only thing is this campaign will probably end once the main characters kind of die. Um. Because everyone has already started rolling new characters. Yeah, we're preparing for the next campaign, but we want to see the end of their backstories. So we just have to kind of see it. And he's kind of pushing it in, like, a, a good way. Um, so we'll see what happens. I feel very bad for Finn. Very, very bad. Okay, I don't usually like using black, but in certain areas I would like it to make extra dark. Mm-hmm. Oof, what did I miss? Five feet per movement action a turn. Huh? What? Minority died once when it was in Beast of the Sea form in the Underdark. Moving five oh. feet per movement action. Oof. My only character death has been Amarin, but she came back because her best friend made a deal. <sighs> it's a beautiful moment. Oh. What did you just think of? Who are you going to murder? Mm -hmm. I messaged you something. Oh. I don't know what that means, but I'm hella down. Okay. You know what Finn's goals are? So just tell me what I'm doing. If it that if it would help achieve things, about her backstory? About her G situation? Wait, none of the players are here. Why are we why are we whispering? Uh, why are we whispering? Just in case. Let yeah. me make sure. Cause Brett does not watch. And mm. Kay is not here. Okay, so what we were talking about is that he says, if Finn dies, do I want to come back as a Hexblood? Now she just made a deal with a Hag. I just made a deal with a Hag, which I told a lot of these people already. So what's interesting is that I forgot this part of the story. So uh, for those who were here before, and if you remember, I don't know what that means, Ellie, but that's what we're about to explain. So Finn Riel was given life by Lathander, and thus Zariel, upset, gave her twin sister turned her through a tiefling. Now, what nobody in the party knows, I do, like as the player, but my, my character does not know this. Lathander previously had a issue. Her, him and Helm stopped being friends, if you will, because he accidentally killed Helm's lover, Murdane, in um, the, what's it called? Divine Cataclysm. Divine Cataclysm. He killed Murdane, which was Helm's lover. Now, they used to be friends in our campaign, Helm and Lathander. Friends, battle warriors together, whatever. They were, whatever. Anyways, to fix ties, he decided to reincarnate Murdane when he gave Finriel life. So she's actually a demigod, a god? Of some sort. A lesser god. She doesn't know that. Nobody knows that. Now, my favorite part of this story is that our other player... He's a paladin, and out of pure coincidence, it's his first time playing D&D, out of pure coincidence, out of all <laughs> battle butt buddies, yeah, out of all of the gods he could have picked, he picked Helm as his god, okay? Much excited. I don't know if anyone gets how exciting that is, but, like, all I can think about is, like, what if one day Finn dies, and to give her back life, instead of Lathander appearing, Helm notices... And, like, kisses her or something. I don't know. This is my stupid little romantic butt. And she's given life. And the rest of the party is like, why did Helm do that and not Lathander? And I just, like, think it's so exciting. I'm so excited. But, yeah, kind of forgot that important part of the story. I apologize. I have to think of things. Are you going to try to kill me now? 
No. Okay. No. Because you can tell me. Maybe. Because that's what Ellie and I did. Seriously, though, I'm so excited. I don't know what that means by the goddess brain, though. The hex blood. Because um, I'm new. I don't know what that means. Hex blood, it changes your um, race. What? Oh, my God. What? To what? To a hex blood. Like, my whole race would change? Yeah. <gasps> you have to explain that more. Bone Crusher is my Null Ranger, and her clan children are named for their flaws and to teach them humility. As a cub, she was a skilled hunter, but impatient, and often she would <laughs> have to finish off her quarry with a club. Her mother and the other hunters were always disappointed when she would return with an animal with a crushed skull. That's so sad. Oh, my God. <laughs> also, I love that idea for naming them. Oh, no, I'm just straight up Beastmaster plot. Reasons gave me a Drake, but we're using a hybrid homebrew of Beastmaster and Drake Warden. Oh, that's pretty sick. Pretty sick. I can't wait for you guys to go to where raid office. No. Well, where? Um. Aren't you guys going to Neverwinter? Neverwinter. Yes. We have to go tell, I mean, they don't know that when I said I know Tarkin's family that I mean the, the Zentarum. Zentarum. Um, but we have to go tell them where his body is in case, because usually crime syndicates have some sort of um, morals <laughs> when it comes to honoring the people. Oh, Ellie's here. Ellie is here. Why? What now? I thought of something about Monday. Oh, I was thinking... Oh, no. That's never... No, good. about the Zentarum. Okay. And how they have a spy. Right before that, we ran into Greg, who mysteriously got stronger and stuff. <gasps> you think he joined the Zentarum? <gasps> That's a thought. Ellie's going to text you right away being like, shut the fuck up. I'm enjoying it so far. My DM is letting me use charisma for spell casting, and she has the potential to learn druid spells in the future. Oh my gosh, that's so sick, actually. Where's my slippers? My toes are cold. So I just remembered I have a coffee. We're almost done the outfit, and then we will do the gold, and then we will do the skin, and then we'll do the final details. And, uh, yeah, pretty excited. Oh, Were you right? Why did oh, you? no. I'm saying yep to this. To what? Yep to what? Why are you saying yep out loud? You're freaking me out, man. Cows. Cows? What about cows? Are you going to drop some? Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm just in fear. You don't get to know about cows yet. Don't get to know about cows yet. Okay. Terrifying. Way more terrifying than it has any right to be. He's the best. He really does, doesn't give himself enough credit. I feel like so many DMs don't realize how amazing they are. Like, just the fact that you're DMing is pretty great. I can taste that. Are you s singing a song? No. Why did you just say, I can taste that? Did you not hear the burp? Ew. <laughs> he burped. Men are gross. Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it. Okay. He really tries to kill my pupper relentlessly, but that's fair enough. Oh my god, why am I getting so many BS emails again? Hey, question for you. Um, does Penny have any symbolism other than a sun? Does she follow a particular god? Anything like that? Because I could include that symbolism um, in her round thingies on her arms, if you would like. 
let me know uh, what's up. Feel free to send pictures on Discord and let me know if you do. Oh yeah, something else happened last session with your character. What? And we found out what you were finally. Yes. Like the party did? Yeah, and you did. Well, the party doesn't really know. Because they're all new and don't realize that when I cast... I meant Asimar. Oh, yeah! Somehow Kai knew that Finn was an Asimar. Mm -hmm. Pretty upset about that, TBH. I'm aiming to get Conjure Elemental at some point. Just so I can have all the companions. Oh my gosh. Your DM is like, oh my god. That's when you just, like, do Summon Beast. Oh, so good. As a druid and have, like, an army of chickens. It'd be so funny, though. I can't remember how many it is, like, upcast. Like, how many you can do? Mm-hmm. It's pretty. Hydrate, yes, ma'am. Need to turn down the light. It's a bit much for this time of day. Good up, baby. It's conjure animal. Mm -hmm. Four times eight. If you really wanted to, though, mm -hmm. using a ninth level spell of conjure animals, mm -hmm. you can summon 32 of, like, an axe beak. Jesus Christ. Um, how would you like a, uh, a sun symbol? I'll just doodle up a little sun. It won't be super noticeable, but you'll know it's there, and I'll know it's there, <laughs> and that's what matters. I'll show you what I mean. Let's, summon, sorry, you, continue. You can summon 32 panthers. Love that for you. Let's start with drawing guide, symmetry, options, quadrant. We're going to go to right here because it's white. It'll be easier to see. All right. Grape leaves are some of her motifs. Okay. Let me Google a grape leaf. New favorite thing. What? You can summon 32 velociraptors. Oh my gosh. You have to have seen a velociraptor before though. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That explains the very Greek outfit. It gives me the same vibes. So a grape leaf can kind of look like ivy or look like a maple leaf. We can do one, like a simplified version, or we can do a sun. Um, what do you think? What do you think fits her best? Hmm. Yeah, a grape leaf definitely looks like a Canadian maple leaf. <laughs> or a weed plant, depending. <laughs> a little less like a weed plant, but... The way they vine, I think, is what makes them look more like a grape leaf. Because when you see them singular... I shall await your instruction... An ivy-like leaf or leaves would be good. Okay, you got it. Let's see what I can come up with. Hmm. I want it to look 
like grape leaf and be symmetrical so because I'm doing let's do that I like that okay I'm gonna change this from quadrant because we're not doing a circle anymore to just vertical okay oops I don't want to change the color why do you always do this to me why do you no move okay whatever <laughs> it's a white line we'll do it here then so I'm gonna just draw with something dark and I'm gonna draw with something sharp and I'll show you the kind of design that like symbolizes a grape leaf Bear with me. I don't try them very often. Hashtag ever. She's sunshine, but not the sun. I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone, I think I better on my own. Walk taller when I'm alone. I'm so happy I found this. I am terrified for what you were talking about. Are you texting me? No. <laughs> Darn. Okay, okay. This is not how I wanted it to turn out, but that's the first run of it. Basically, I'm looking at the top of this, where I, this logo. So it doesn't look as much like a weed leaf or Canadian maple leaf, you know? So let's try again. Maybe we'll sketch it out and then we'll do. That's kind of cool. It gives me very like creaky vibes for some reason too, which I like. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Cause I can totally change it. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. I think my issue here is I'm making this too deep. Interesting. Why? What is interesting? Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Very symbolic. Sim, 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 symbol. Symbolic? Sim, symbol like is what I'm trying to say. Like it looks like it could be a symbol for something, which is a good start. <laughs> I want this to be thinner. Okay, cool. <laughs> what, what, what? Okay, so now we're gonna grab you. We're gonna take you over here. We're going to press distort and fit you in there like a little symbol. The other side won't be visible because only the back side of it will be visible. So what I'm going to do is first turn off assist because I don't want that. And then I'm going to... Why do you know draw? Oh. Draw a circle. <laughs> around the coin and I want to change the color thanks Ellie are you guys talking about murdering us because <laughs> B keeps doing an evil laugh and it's scaring me 
Okay, so that's the only symbol that will be visible, but you will know that it is there. Okay, so bear with me, because there's still lots more to do with this. So, first things first, I'm going to add some multiply layers and some add layers. Wow! Oh my gosh! Thank you for the gift subs! Uh, Dana, you're so sweet! Wait a second. How many? Thank you for gifting uh, five. Thank you! Dana, you're so sweet! Thank you! Shout out to Dana, you guys! You're far too nice to me! This is your commission! <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. What a gem. Oh my gosh. I don't deserve this. True. You're <laughs> These like, true. Love you. You're a real one over there. Thank you. I never know what to say when people do nice things, but I'm very thankful. You're very sweet. <laughs> that was in Finnish. Oh my gosh, what does it say? <laughs> and I'm gonna try to slide, I'm gonna try to slide. Okay, so I want one more multiply layer above. But other than that, now we're gonna work on the texture of all the metal. So we're gonna start with the metal brush that I have, which is not originally called metal brush, but I use it for metal. That just says the usual thank you for a gift subtext just in Finnish. That's so cool. I wish I could speak another language. <laughs> Abby, how's work? I don't remember our time difference, so I'm pretty sure you're still at work. I'm going to do the shadows as well, because right here, is a big old shadow, because it clips on the side. Being from Europe speaking just one language is so bizarre as a concept. I can speak double Dutch, not a real language, but it's the only other language that I can speak. It's not real. Okay, so now we add the detailing. Mm -hmm. Boring? Work is boring? That's fair. I understand. What time are you done? Like, how soon? Because I don't, I don't know what time it is for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, what? What? Oh, yeah, what? This is bullying. You are a bully. Do you want a hint? No, I don't want a hint. Mm, <laughs> to me, the concept of traveling anywhere and just being able to survive on one's first language is a weird concept. I mean, you definitely can't. Um, it's, it's definitely difficult. I feel like. I don't really get a chance to travel yet. But one day. Thank you! Oh wow, it's only 
Like, I know so many people have English as a first language. <laughs> yeah, we're boring. English is honestly such a boring language, though. It's a hard language. It is. But, like, I heard someone say once, and I always think about it, that, like, it's a very lazy language when it comes to how we pronounce things. Traveling with just English, I mean, it has difficulties, but traveling with just Finnish, impossible. Yes. Yes, I, I imagine that would be very difficult. I've had so many experiences at work where I need to talk to people through a translator and it's honestly pretty cool. I always tell people and I know that Green thinks this is super lame, but if I ever had a superpower, it would be to know every language ever. Ever. Be so cool. Yes, I had to as well. I did used to work with um, immigration a bit when I was in the x-ray and um, we used that device sometimes. Do I still have the original leaf? I do. Why? What do you want to do with it? <laughs> yes. I've been thinking of getting a translator's education. It feels like a cool job. It is a cool job and it pays super well. 1010, I would totally say do it up. They call me Stone. Rosetta Stone. <laughs> Could I get that later? Now I need to 3D print those metal bits for my cosplay. Yes, I will totally. Hold on. Um, it's not perfect. No, 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 no. Um, let me just see here. What do I got? It's a little distorted shape wise it's probably a bit more accurate it's going to be fuzzy do you need me to redraw it because i can yeah let's just do that for you real quick it's perfectly fine are you sure do you need a PNG file of it, like without the background, or like is this cool? I'm trying to straighten it out a bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh oh. Okay, that's just about, just about even. My linguistics lecturer just always telling the class, you can hear the clear difference between these four different O sounds and me just wanting to cry. Yeah, I've been there. I just didn't want to eyeball it. Okay, here, I will send that to you right. Ah, ah, I exited. Share, JPEG. Uno momento, por favor. Mysteries. Of course. That's so cool. I want to see it when it's done, please. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me know if you got that. I 
my nap now and talk to you later, my loves. Have fun at D&D &D tonight. Sweet dreams. Perfecto. Perfect. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Like so. Dun, 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 dun. I gave up on sketching tonight. Looked at references, watched the stream, chilled. It's enough. Now time to get ready for bed. I hope you have a, a good sleep. I've been there. Days were just like drawing is not working. One day I'll be able to run my Tyranny of Dragons game. Ooh, that sounds exciting. I'll be watching for a bit longer, but lurking Tom undercover. Sounds good. My back is suddenly very sore, so I'm going to sit up a little straighter. Okay. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you like them. I like doing gold stuff. <laughs> Whoa, that's why I saved it for second last. <laughs> All right. It is time for the skin. Actually, I need to do something because it's bothering me. I don't know how it clips in. D Dana, tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but I'm assuming this is the clip that's holding her toga type top together. And well, the clip part isn't visible right now, but I don't know if it's through the top or through the middle, but I'm going to assume it's through the knot. Now I could be wrong. So let me know if I am.
that works for me. Okay, cool. So now what I want to do is I want the same texture, but I can do it a little speedier this time by going like so. Uh, clip that. Oh no, I didn't mean to, I didn't want to cut and paste. I just wanted to duplicate. How what destroyed would you be if soulmate died? I would be distraught. Are you kidding me? He's my pet. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh my god. You're literally a monster. He just said how I how would I feel if her pet died? How do you think I would feel? I mean, it's not really my choice. No. So, I don't think you really care, if I'm being honest. We're just planning some Oh, no. Okay, I'll be Oh, sure, bye. Thanks for dropping that one. I'll let you fester on that for a bit. I'll let you fester on that. I must head to work myself, but I can't wait to see the finishing touches on this lady. I hope you have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. How attached are you to X? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Even more fun when he's my partner. He's right there and he gets to taunt me all day. I want this to be thinner. Like a pin. Like, like that. Much better. That is... Okay, now we are officially on to the skin. I'm going to do a bit more shading before we start doing some blending. Right, this song is weird. Sounds gross. Bye. Right, we decided that her eyebrows, well, I decided, I apologize, that was some, some juice of me. Her eyebrows need to be a bit darker. Yeah, definitely. What kinds of characters do I like drawing the most? Um, girl characters. <laughs> that's a pretty, it's a good base. Female characters. Femme characters, I should say. Um, I don't like drawing men. I will draw them, but I, I, I don't like it. Get it done, done, get it done, done.
Now I'm going to start blending. It's going to look over blended and then I add the texture afterwards. I find it just is easier to get that look that I want. There, yeah. Whoa. I always start off with the eye area. Yeah, we're almost there. She looks beautiful, sorry I'm just lurking here, not chatting much today. No worries, Patty, don't be sorry. I am very happy for the lurk. Oh. Does she have any makeup? Sometimes gold and black eyeliner. Okay. References are super helpful if you have. <laughs> My watch is pinching me. watch pinching. Take that off. Ooh, because I had it too tight. <laughs> Dummy. Mm
Okay, time for sleepy sweet dreams, Mom Lynn. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Stay tuned. I say settle and I'm talking about gold makeup. Hey, it can be good. Um, so if you notice a lot of my art, I do like an inner corner like shine. Um, I usually do that even when I don't do like a super big makeup look, but let me know how you feel about it. I can do it super subtle too if you prefer. Or we could do gold if you'd like. I think that would look pretty dope, but I also don't want to give her too much makeup if that's not something she would do. Even the, the glitter on the inner corner, are you sure? Okay, cool. I will not merge it until we're sure, so don't stress. By the way, I watched the texture tutorial like a hundred times today. I'm really trying my best to someone do the gold parts. Okay, yeah, it's still the same. It's the same uh, as what I really do now. Um, so you got this. Remember to have fun and don't think too hard about it. And it's okay to have chunkier bits. Everything doesn't have to be super fine detail too. Okay, we're almost on to the texture. Um... The illusion's not enough. The illusion's not enough.
Okay. Almost. Yeah, no, let's move on to texture. So bear with me, it's gonna look odd for a hot sec. I'm going to do a bit of natural freckling, but not super crazy because we have the white freckles to contend with. Just to give her skin a more skinny type texture. Skinny. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with some add layers. Yee! So first things first... Grab that noise brush. I want to use gold. First off, just so you know, this is what I mean by the heavy glitter on the inner corners. There's still more detailing to go into the face, but what do you think of going in this direction? Just This is just what I normally do. It does not have to be done. Obviously, this does not go there. <laughs> So in theory, that's how it would look. I will move it to another layer. And I wanna give her a little bit of golden shine. But the question is, does it fit her? Because I want her to be exactly as you envision. No sacrifices necessary. Ah. Mm. My cat's trying to get in. Oh, no, it's you. Hi, why's the thumb up? Why don't you say it's me? I thought it was John at first. Because, oh. I don't know, he's probably sleeping somewhere. Johnny! Okay, sounds good. We shall keep it, but think on it, because I don't want you to. I don't want you to settle. Huh? Not talking to you, but he me. Was in his bed. Of course he was, lazy boy. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, sleepy boy. A <laughs> very sleepy boy. Mm -hmm. Hi. He's like, why am I awake? Why you do this to me? All right, so now we're gonna do more <laughs> John. Yeah, he was sleeping in his uh in his bed in the living room. And did he lay down there? He's just staring out the window. <laughs> EXU shirt. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. Yes, I have that on camera. We're gonna try the eyeliner, but I'm gonna do it without first. What are you, is there a bird? No, you're just a psychopath. Same. <laughs> Same. Mm. Yeah, I love the EXE shirt. I steal that one a lot. I like the color. Yeah. So good. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
think about you in the tomb? You didn't! I mean, we're almost done. But you didn't totally miss it. We're not, we're not done just yet. How you doing today? You're going to clean the kitchen? Thank you, baby. <laughs> he just quacked. This is the life that I live. Just woke up? What time is it for you? I'm excited to get those freckles in here. Next to me. Two twelve. Oh, gotcha. That is completely fair reasoning. I'm gonna grab some more yellow tones. Maybe we'll go a bit lighter. We done the skin base. No, no, we're not. Nobody cares that I do this, but I like the way it looks when I see it. <laughs> I circle some of the highlights because it looks like raised skin like little bumpies and I like it okay I hi I'm going to send Dana an update um to let me know how you feel about it so far if there's any issues please don't be shy let me know and uh while you take a peeky i'm gonna add that eyeliner um and it'll be removable so don't stress i was up a couple times in the morning too so didn't have it oh that stinks i hate when you don't have a deep sleep my cat does that to me i know that's not a baby very different but he's a dick <clears throat> <laughs> Let me pull up that reference. <laughs> no one ever notices. I did actually teach a, a little art class once um, and I showed them that. They're like, oh, why? And I'm like, I don't know. I like the way it looks. <laughs> there's a few still, there's still a few like skin details that I want to add, but um, let me know if there's anything. The freckles are an end step, that's correct, because I'm going to be drawing them on kind of like a tattoo. Um, like, I don't want to blend the skin and the freckles to be there, I guess. So I want the skin to be done, and then I'll do the freckles. Same as I would with a tattoo. Okay, I want some subtle, some subtle eyeliner. And then underneath that, some gold. Let's do something a bit sharper. Hi, 
Hi, baby. How so art thou doing? Kitchen done? Not fully. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, I was going to message you on Discord. Are you thinking of doing the Ressa Art Prompt Challenge? I'd love to see your take on it. Uh, send it in the Discord because I don't know which one you're talking about. Um, I do have a few lined up. Uh, any of my patrons, I made a post about it. Um, but yeah. I'm also going to send you an update, uh, Dana, with the... Where are you? Hi. With the eyeliner... Let me know your thoughts. Da, 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 da. If Dana is still here. I know she's working at the moment, so she might be in a meeting or something. But it is removable, so. Take you where you wanna. Okay, so this is the makeup. I'm just gonna group this to get rude. I didn't want that. So it is all removable. And then let's see how we get this white freckles. Yeah? Did you want any changes or anything? Can't get high. Can't get high. I'm shedding. Okay. Can't get high. I'm going to change some of the um, angles of them. Bear with me because I haven't done these before. So we have to find the right pattern. Let's try this again. I'm gonna see if I can find more references. I'm gonna look up white freckles. I know they're gonna be small. <laughs> I'm not talking about a skin condition. Character. <laughs> I literally saw them all over TikTok. Why white freckles? D and D. I feel like I'd get more options that way. Deer character? I spelled deer wrong. Did you say D E A? Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, I don't want an actual deer. Sandwich cave. Hmm.
Yes, yes, I can do that. Un momento, por favor. Uh, that is unhelpful. Not you. <laughs> a reference. Okay. Let's add a bit of hair there. So it's kind of like in the back. So we're going to go like this. First, I'm going to merge this. Select and invert. So I don't draw on the... energy is being used to lie. All my mental energy is tired. Ooh, so cute. All right. Ooh, art. Oh, pretty. Oh, there's multiple prompts. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to send, oh my God, I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm going to send this update as well. JPEG. Dun, 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 dun. There you go, madame. It is only two way. Okay. Let's try these white freckles again. Mm -hmm. So a lot of fawn characters that I see has them like different. That's not the brush I wanted. <laughs> what if I just use this brush? That actually might be smoother, I think. I want it to feel natural, and for some reason it's not. So bear with me. Let's just look at deers. I think it's because they're just not so spaced out. But I also want them to be spaced out because it's like the face, you know? Like, I want it to be exactly as you picture her, though. And all of the references you sent me have the chunkier freckles. And I don't want to change that. I don't want to change that just because I haven't drawn them before. You know? I want them to be like you imagine her. And I think this one is working out a lot better. Let me know what you think. If there's too many, too little. I know that I still have uh, more of her body to do though, so don't stress there.
Yeah, we could totally try them smaller. I'm gonna try liquefying them first. See if that'll do the trick or not. It's gonna move them around a bit, but. Okay, so. An idea, let's try. Cause I want them to be like you picture and they're chunkier. I was trying to see if that brush would work, but it's not. Let me live my, let, this is usually the brush I do freckles with, but that does not work. I feel like. Let me live my. It's used by deer as camouflage, camouflage to look like the sun dappled forest floor. So maybe that could help us use as an alternate reference. I'm a biologist, not an artist. That's actually really cool. I did not know that. I don't know. I'm trying to feel, feel, I'm trying to think of what would be the best option. Cause I want, cause you always have pictures of her with chunky freckles. I think the issue is it looks like they're kind of going like this too. Do you know what I mean? So what if these I angled differently? Hey, that's not what I wanted. Nope. Why am I pressing the wrong button? Maybe less on the top nose bridge and forehead. Okay, let's give that a go. So let's just totally erase those ones. Okay, I'm gonna restart. Don't stress. This is how it's supposed to work when you're learning new things. Okay. I love the little, the Penny 2 one you sent me. It's so cute and soft. And then the first one, it definitely has chunkier ones. I think we're going in the right direction. Okay, dope, dope, dope. You don't have pictures, have you cosplayed her before? You don't have pictures of you with her makeup on, do you? Cause that could totally work as a reference. Mm Nope, I don't. I'm just putting it together. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Maybe we'll just do something. Like move more into normal freckles in the middle. <laughs> All right, guys. We're getting serious. Sounds like a good plan. Oh no, what did I say? Oh, the soft freckles in the middle.
Okay, so here's my most serious question for you. Do you want them chunky all over like they are in the other references? Because if they are, I will keep going with that because I want it, again, my biggest thing about taking commissions of other people's characters is making sure it looks exactly as you envision them because I did not make them up. Let me know. Mm -hmm. That's a little too chunky. Like the ones on the references? Oh my gosh, I just found a piece of art that's so cute. <laughs> Focus. Sorry. <laughs> Did you hear me? He's like, focus. Okay, the reference is a little too chunky. Okay. That is helpful. I know that I've seen pictures before of Fawn Girls. You've seen pictures Wait. Before? Jessica did one. Yeah. Didn't you jerk? Jessica... Nigri Fawn or Nigiri, right? Yeah. I did draw this one, but she had some face. Yeah, she had. Lord, Lord, please. Yeah, she just had the dots, but still, at least that could help with placement. There you are. There's the front-facing photo I wanted. Oh, but it's not full quality. Gosh darn it. Maybe it is on the website. Dun, dun, dun. Oh no, never good when the website takes a long time to load when you have good internet. Uh... Okay, yeah, they're basically just dots. It's not super helpful. Okay, okay. I think we're going somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Maybe? Mm. <laughs> you don't think so, babe? No. Yeah. <laughs> I just like messing with you. I don't like. You know messy. You're liking this. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Do you want them to be more white or more like that? What do you think? This one or... Oops, undo paint stroke. This one or this one? Do you want them like stark? Is that the word? Or we can do like kind of in the middle as well. I kind of like the idea of a rogue freckle moving up between the two. Okay. Okay, let me know your thoughts of how it's going right now and if there's any changes you want. I want some of it to be in shadow because that'd be cool. Oh 
my god, she's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna send you an update. <laughs> Same, I love shoulder freckles. Okay, okay, so full quality update coming your way. Let me know your thoughts, anything that needs to be adjusted, um, etc. Also, I just noticed something that I'm gonna go and fix. There should be a grommet here, is what I noticed. Seen? No, a grommet. No, no, but seen? Twitch. Oh, <laughs> thanks. What would I do without you, baby? The answer is cry. There you go. A grommet. Was? Yay! Is there anything you want changed? Because otherwise we're done other than lighting. So now's the time. Let me know. Be totally, uh, what's the word? Open. Be totally open. I'm not bothered. <laughs> Again, not my character. So I never mind when people are like, can you fix this? That's like the whole point. <laughs> okay. So I would just want to add a quick shadow from where that grommet is. There you go. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this now that we're moving on to lighting. Oh my god, she's so cute. I know. Um, another thing that I do when I do skin, let me know if you hate it. I usually do it, but I can remove it if you don't like it, and I'll show you what that is. Dun, dun. I do these. I don't know why. I like the way it looks brings attention to those eyeballs. Ooh, it kind of works with her white spots. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at that curl. That's so cute. Oh, you've noticed? I love that you noticed. That's so cool. I always wonder what people actually notice about the stuff that I regularly do. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna not merge... Oh no, I have to merge. Am I safe to merge? Are we totally sure about the skin? Everything is swell. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you, baby? I wanna love you. I wanna care. There's like a little like spot here that I don't like. This like, the black right here like goes up in a weird bump. There, that's better. Yes, yes. Oh, there's an eyelash, I think, right there, too. Yes, that's what it was. So we're totally sure about the makeup and the skin. Let me know if I'm safe to merge that. Okay, the makeup as well. I just want to be totally sure because the makeup will be very hard to remove if we change our minds. I'll merge this, though. I'm ready. All right. Good stuff. So let's start with highlighting the hair. Um, I'm also going to do what I usually do. Let me know if you hate it, but this is just usually what happens. Um, oh! Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. I do like a shadow in the bottom corner, and then you'll see why. I don't want to do super yellow because it can be, it can be a lot. I believe in you. Thanks for hanging out. 
use this and go to message you. I sent you a message. Now I want to do highlighting. Mm. I ah <laughs> uh, awkward moment. I don't remember. I think it's I think it's fifteen or like point fifteen percent. Let me go to my terms and conditions because I'm stupid. <laughs> I have a section. Okay. Monetized streaming. Zero point times zero point one five of the commission, which is basically the the, the, the gift subs. We're cool. Ah, thank you. I've also got a dip out now, but I loved watching this come together. Dana made an excellent choice in asking you for this commission. Cheers. Thank you so, so much, Wolf of the Borderline. Thank you so much for the cheers. I hope you have a lovely day and thank you for hanging out. I started typing and then I just said it out loud. I'm <laughs> useless. Duh. But again, it wouldn't be, it's, it's a super itty bitty fee and that basically evens out and I'm personally cool with that. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. On that note, I won't merge anything though. With the background and lighting, I mean. Ah! Actually, because that's the case, it's gonna be way easier if I do it like this. like so merge that and then here Yeah, I won't merge it so that way you can have the PG image for whatever you want to do. Um, monetize streaming wise uh, for like a resale thing. Let me know if you ever want to do that. That's something else. Um, but for like monetize streaming and stuff, um, we're even. We're cool. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and like just like having my name somewhere on your page is cool too, but not necessary if you don't have anywhere to put it. <laughs> Give her that cute little button nose with the lighting. That's a little much, I'll fix it. <laughs> no, of course, thank you. I love her. I'm so glad I got to work on her on stream because she's seriously so cute. Just like me. Just like you, babe, you're right. We're one in the same. We're one in the same, okay, bud. Whatever you say. I'm going to merge the outfit now. Okay, horns as well. What am I doing? Select. Oh, because it's on the same layer as the hair. Hold on. Did you? Okay, so I think she herself is done. Now we're just going to do some added biddies. So. I want to bring those golden lights into the front, which I do on most of my drawings. I'm sorry if I bore you. Let me know if you like it. I want them bigger. Damn, it's like she'll step off the screen. That is the goal. I'm going to go like that and erase some of them. And Gaussian blur. And then motion blur. Mm -hmm. Oh, my phone's dying because I've had it open with references and not charging. <laughs> what a dum dum. <laughs> I need it for DD. I'll make it work. Actually, my charger is really fast, so. Oh yeah, your, your iPad's charged, right? It's always plugged in. Always. Um, that is why I often do the shadow in the front, if you were wondering, uh, to make the glowy parts more glowy. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. What does her magic look like? Does she have magic? You said she was a bard. Yeah. What does her magic look like? Is it yellow like the sun biddies we've been doing, or are they something else? Because I can change that. <laughs> While you are answering that question, I am going to... Can I duplicate that? Is that too many layers? Are you going to eat me? <gasps> You're not. Love that. Okay. Delete the highlights because you don't want them on the PNG because I don't know where the lighting's at flatten okay so she is her now her own thing um so now you have this version as well um and because we're doing this i can spot some issues like so and so and so go to war now I don't want to do that because I want to fix the hair first. 
that a bit better. Much better. Making me go. I forgot to erase this before I merged because I am big dumb. So I will just redo that. I can't remember what question I asked you. Oh, Dana, what color is her magic? That's not the color I want. Yeah, her magic is sunshine and sparkles. Perfection! We're doing great! <laughs> okay. So, basically, we're good. Um, maybe I can do a bit of um, some good good here. Hey, don't make fun of me, Green. I know what I'm saying. I think someone does. I just want her magic to be apparent. Did I draw that on a layer? I did. Cut and paste. Add. Wrap. I want it to kind of wrap around. Like so. And then I'm going to lower the opacity a bit. Try some chromatic aberration. And then some motion blur. And then we're going to stretch it a bit, I think. Let me know if you hate this. It might be a bit much yellow, to be honest. I don't know. What do you think? With or without? I think I'm vibing without. But let me know what you think. Also, because you said sparkles, I'm going to do this. Much excited. We can even make it a bit more golden. I think that's better than the lines. No. Okay, I'm going to send you an update. 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 Okay, um, mysteries. Post. Yeah, the lines were a bit much. I totally agree. It was just too much yellow. Yellow's great, but it, it's easier to get lost with something yellow. Okay, let me know your thoughts. If there's any fixes we want to do, I'm going to do um, that thing again. <laughs> Where we delete, delete flatten, move down, and group. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Yes, I think that's much better. Look at her fluffy ears. It is all so cute. Let me check. Everything is tight. That is a good sign. Okay. Ah, yay! Anything to fix before I send you the final copies? We want to multiply. You think she's done? Yay! Okay, cool. So I'm going to send you um, some questions when I finish stream today. And then I'll send you the final files, okay? Um, but for starters, let's raid somebody. We're almost exact. We're five minutes away from my time goal, so that's good. Um, if you are here, uh, it would mean a lot if you could stick around and say hi to whoever we decide to raid. Um... It helps the stream and it helps uh, 
their stream, which is nice. Let me see who's streaming on art. How do I do that again? Follow chat categories. Let's see. Wow, that's another language. Oh no. Not that that's a problem. It's just, yeah, that's quite the VTuber going on over there. Okay. This is so fun finding streams. Finding mm -hmm. Stremdola Strems? Finding Stremdola Strems. Trying to find something you guys would enjoy. None of the people I follow are online right now. Of course. So, finding somebody new. Wow. That's some cool art. That person's like streaming their screen instead of like a video. Capture? No, yeah, instead of like the like, screen capture, it's like they're streaming, they're using their a camera. camera yeah. Crazy pants. Mm -hmm. Feel free to recommend any channels uh, if uh, you guys know anyone who's online right now. Just seeing what's good. Dun, dun, dun. It's so hard picking one because I also don't want to pick one that's too NSFW because my stream wasn't, so I have to like find an even placement. Someone who's speaking a similar language because obviously that you guys are already cool with that. Why is no one I like online? Oh, Dreechi's online. I know Dreechi. I don't actually know Dreechi, but <laughs> please make sure to say hi to Dreechi. That would be super helpful. I'm going to wait until my ad goes through though. Drew, how do I spell? I don't know there. <laughs> so yeah, if you are here, please say hi, hype, you know, the huge in someone's in uh, Dreechi's stream who we will be rating right away. D-R-E-A-C-H-I. She is drawing something super cute. I-E. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you, Dana, for being so amazing. This commission was amazing. And thank you uh, to everyone from your friends group who joined. That was really nice. Bye, guys.